and welcome to my channel all you lovely wonderful people that want to share Joyce Mayo everyday life bible with me go and get yours if you feel if lucky enough to have one and we can read it together we can just sit and listen be a cup of tea feet up nice and comfy and away we go <laughs> so today's reading is his awesome presence it is on page 531 in 1 kings 820 it says at the top it's this piece down here are we ready are you two ready are you ready they're ready let's get going then in the old testament the ark of the covenant represented the presence of the Lord. I, Joyce, <laughs> I cannot stref, stress enough how much we need God's presence in our lives. In fact, we need his presence more than we did yet anything else. We need God. When God called Moses to tell Pharaoh to let God's people go, Moses was scared and insecure about his lack of abilities. But God said to him, Certainly, I will be with you. See Exodus 3, 10 to 14. Later, God told Moses, My presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. Exodus 33, 14. Joyce says, I love Moses' reply. If your presence does not go with me, do not lead us up from here. Exodus 33, 15. In other words, God, if you're not going to be there, don't send me. That's exactly the way I feel when I start to minister to others. Joy speaking. Yeah, I don't minister. You know what I mean. We really need to understand the awesomeness of the presence of God and the magnitude of what is available to us as believers. If only we'll take the time to be in his presence. Why in the world would we not want to spend time with God? We spend time on the telephone, we hang out in the shopping centre, we spend hours in front of the television and we seem to have no problem investing our time in those pursuits. The truth is the devil fights us more in the area of our spending time with God than he does on any other area of our Christian lives. In fact, Satan would much prefer that we get involved in all kinds of religious activities rather than spend time with the Lord. There is only one way I know to maintain the anointing on my life and that is by spending time in the presence of God. You may be wondering, but what do I do when I spend time with God? You simply set aside a portion of your time for that purpose. Try not to be legalistic about it, but do try to be as regular with it as you can. During that time period, read the Bible and Christian books that minister to you. Talk to God. Sometimes you may want to listen to Christian music and worship. Other times you may want to sit there and enjoy the silence. These are wonderful ways to begin to feel and sense the presence of the Lord. I've got a little tip for you there. Joyce was saying about listening to Christian music. One um, person I found, but his music is just wonderful to listen to. Gerard, Gerard <laughs> Cooper. The album is Days of Wonder. I'll put it down in the description box, as in that it's... It's spelled J-A-R-R-O-D and then Cooper is C-O-O-P-E-R. And clearly the title is Days of Wonder. It's got some brilliant ones on there. It's got like King of Kings on there and at the foot of the cross. So that's a good one. So I like to listen to him. If I want to watch people, I'll, I'll have Joyce up. Clearly on YouTube you can do that and you can be... 
sort of uh, mentally in her presence if you're not physically in her presence you're still with her and you're still taking it in so that's a good way to be in God's presence because Joyce is encouraging you to be in God's presence and that's different from doing a crossword reading a book you know a non-Christian book uh, anything else you want to do so She's encouraging us, and I'm encouraging us, <laughs> me included, to spend time with God. I mean, I can sit quite comfy in this chair, got my cuppa, and I can read my Bibles. Any of them, they're all on the shelves, and I can read through Joyce's one. This one here, that we know we're going through. And we've still got loads that we can read, so don't worry, we're not finished yet. But find yourself some music. That's always nice to have it on in the background. Even if you're doing your crafts or you're washing up or whatever, you can have the music on in the background and just hum away to it. Because trust me, by the time you listen to it a few times, then you do get to know the words. I'm pretty good with mine now. Another one, somebody had made me, it was... Um, Andy at St Luke's Church many many years ago he made me a CD and I still I don't, I don't know if I've got the actual CD but it's still on my big computer so I can get St Luke's CD up anytime I want and listen to that one and it's nice just to spend some time with God one way or another that's what I shall say <laughs> On that note, it's time to go, I'm afraid. Until the next time, do, do give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe, there's always more. You know that I'm bringing you a reading from Joyce and a bit of crafting. That's the two balances. And there's art thrown in there and things like that. But uh, I'll try to give you a balance and reach a wider audience, if you like, that people can, perhaps if they find um, some slow stitching that I've been doing, and then they're looking at other ones that I've done, and they pick up on our Joyce ones, and they think about that and spend some time in God's Word. Should I say, stay safe, take care, enjoy your day. <laughs> and it's bye-bye for now.